Fight against the real menace of this game. Terra. What the fuck? Kind of weird. I finally destroyed all of the space stations. You fool, Mega Man! You have meddled with my plan for the last time. We could have created a new world for all robots. How can I face my master now? I must redeem myself by blowing you to pieces. Your master? This sort of gives it away, but... Bad star chaser. Let's just say this guy's the equivalent of the fucking, uh, Mega Man Hunters, I suppose. <laughs> He's pretty much the equivalent of a Mega Man Hunter. Get quick work out of him. He's dead like a little bitch that he is. Except there was no level involved. And now I get his spark chaser. The fuck? I should have defeated all of the star droids. That sound is annoying. Where is it coming from? What is that? Wait. It's moving. No. It can't be. Why are we? Is he behind all of this? I gotta get out of here. Well, I guess we're going to the final dungeon now. Hit the jets, Rush! Let's go! section they put into the Mega Man Game Boy game. Asteroids. Ow. It's a shame you can't go behind and, you know, attack him again. It's the only time where you get your Mega Buster back, somewhat. Okay, am I done this bullshit yet? Okay. Now it gets a little hectic. Gotta avoid lasers. It's pretty simple, just keep going up and down, you can be fine. Boss. Laser. 
that's a bitchin' laser, by the way. Ow. Avoid more lasers. It's a pretty simple pattern, just... Try to avoid his hateful attacks. To Huawei Space Fortress. Doesn't even give me the privilege of having my health recovered. With slightly new and improved enemies, but also has a little bit of familiar look to them, to some of the enemies in uh, the original four Mega Man games for the Game Boy. Plus, it has probably one of the more coolest things I've seen in one of the Mega in one of the Mega Man nah, games for a long while. The return of certain bosses. Which is just straight up win in my books. Yeah, now you finally decide to give me something useful. Oh, I see what you did there. Ow! I happen to do die by some unfortunate mean. Like that guy there is somewhat similar to the uh, fucking guys that were in Mega Man 4 and Crystal Man stage. What's the small shit I notice? But, as I've shown, if you look a little closely at the bottom there, you'll notice a familiar Mega Man Hunter. Which is, a, which is the thing that made me go win at this game. And back then, when I was, like, I, as I mentioned before in my previous video, this was the first Mega Man game I played. So I didn't know who these guys were when I first played it. But when I started playing the older Mega Man games and knew who they were, like, they, these guys are actually a little more easier than their, uh, fucking, uh, than their original counterparts. Like, these guys are actually pretty easy to deal with in comparison to the old times when we fought them back in the old Game Boy days. But the, but yeah, the fact that they're back, it just means win. And you get to fight all four of them, too. And they have the same attacks and everything. Mm -hmm. it's just with this time, Inker isn't as tricky as he used to be. Because he doesn't do that one pattern that could fuck you up, like, entirely. And plus, he gives you a health boost. This was that one time when, when you fought him originally, he would, like, watch my mouse here, he would jump and then dash. Which was fucking annoying when I fought him in the original Mega Man game. It's just truckloads of nostalgia coming back to eat me, which is epic. And I'm missing all these cool, awesome secrets. Well, I'm gonna need this. Now the next one down there is Quint, or Quintet, or whatever, however his name was called. I thought his name was Quintet from an old Nintendo Power magazine I used to have. Quintet and Sakugarn!
another really easy boss. Pathetically easy, but still epic nonetheless, that the fact that you're fighting all four of the Mega Man Hunters again, which is win. Technically, it's three, but since Quintet was added, I consider him to be one of the Mega Man Hunters. Which is another reason why I like Mega Man 10 a lot, is because the fact that they brought back the Mega Man... Oh, fuck. What's the fact... That was bullshit. But yeah, the fact they brought back the Mega Man Hunters and Mega Man 10, that was just win. Take the death like a man. Fuck. That was kind of dickish. Alright, continuing on. Pick your poison and the game's pretty much telling you to set. We'll go this way because, you know, I can. And plus I could use the extra health. At least this level is nowhere as annoying as fucking Mega Man 4's fucking final dungeon. This one's at least fun. And now we get to fight Punk! Like, look at the wheel. That doesn't go as fast as it did in uh, the original. The, the wheel will go, like, fucking super fast. Give you barely any time to avoid it. And it was so random when it would charge at you. Like, that's what made the original Mega Man Hunters much more menacing than they were in this one. Like, this one, they're just fucking easy. But yeah, they toned down the difficulty of the Mega Man Hunters, which... In a way, it makes me sad, but at the same time, it's not a huge thing to me. And ballad. Ow. Ow. And which why, in a sense, Terra was the equivalent of a Mega Man Hunter in this game. He's like the, the ninth enemy you fight who you get a power from. And Ballad is once again probably the more tougher of the one of the Mega Man hunters because his pattern was still he is very unpredictable. But beatable nonetheless because I am Jamonius. Aha, I didn't miss one this time. Which provides me useless shit. Thanks, game! Fuck. And in there lies our familiar place known as the boss room. But we'll cover that in the next video.